So welcome everybody to another chaos. I think this, this is the last meeting for the year. Um, like I earlier said in the chat, because December's our meeting free is a meeting free month in chaos in chaos project. So we will not have and this meeting falls at the last one for November. So we'll not have any meeting until next year. So welcome to the last um community meeting of the year. So I'm excited to have everybody here and yeah, I can share the agenda again. It's right in the chat. So we have um you can like have a full agenda. Um, but first let's welcome our newcomers. Um, let me see if we have anybody on here. Um Emanuela, have you joined this call before? Ella Suli. Have you joined this call before? Maybe you want to say hi to everyone. Um, can you use the chat to... Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay you joined the call before, oh, sorry. Um, no worries. Um, I thought this is the first time you're joining the call. That's why I wanted you to introduce yourself. But so I don't think we have everybody here is a familiar face. So welcome back, everybody again. <laughs> so um the next thing on the agenda is the I'm trying to get the link for the Twitter space, boys. I've been trying to paste it, it's not working. If anybody can get okay, yeah, Ahmad. Ahmad, you've not joined this call. Because now it shouldn't be having this either. Um, so Ahmad, hi, do you want to introduce yourself? I don't think you've joined this um community call before. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've not joined this is my first time joining. Okay. Hi, my name is Ahmad. I I live in Ghana and um, what else? Yeah, I'm a software engineer. Mostly uh, focused in Python Django, but uh, recently I started dabbing in um, React. I mean, not React, uh, yes, React, JavaScript, and then uh, Express. Okay, welcome, Ahmad. I met Ahmad when I went for Python Ghana. So, um, yeah, welcome, Ahmad. Um, thank you, Funke, for sharing the link to the Twitter space. Thank you very much. That was really helpful. So um, the next thing, now I can't paste it. Oh my God, what's happening? Okay. So the next thing, we have a Twitter space um, in about an hour. Uh, and we'll be talking about um, the history of open source. So if you've not set your reminder and if you did not plan to join the space, please plan to join it in an hour time. We're having we're having someone from uh we're having a principal engineer at Microsoft. Um he'll be sharing, talking about history of open source. You know, he has like 20 years of experience. So he has more details about how open source started. So that's what we'll be discussing in that space. It happens uh, 5 p.m. WAT time. So I think two hours from now. Um, so please let's all join the space and also share it when we join. So yeah, that's, does anybody have any question about that particular space. Mm, okay, I guess silence will mean no. Please, I'm sharing the agenda link. Please feel free to put in any topic you want to discuss and also add your name to the attendees and tell us the last book you read. Um, so about upcoming spaces, I know I, I kind of scheduled one for December and I don't know if we might have to push it to January, but the space in December is, I talked to somebody, a co-founder of, there's, a, there's an app called, or there's a soft, a platform called Ovio. So it's like a, 
it's a place where people can find open source projects to contribute to. So I had a conversation with um, the co-founder of OVO and invited him to come and talk about OVO and how to find open source projects with OVO on the space. It's We scheduled it for the first week of December, but that's something that I don't know if it's still going to happen because he made a joke and said, if Twitter still exists, then we'll do the space. <laughs> so um, just watch out for that. That might come up or not. But yeah, does anybody have any anything they want to add before we move to the next topic agenda? I think Twitter will still exist. Just saying. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We we pray so. Okay. Um. So um. In the last meeting, we, I think we I I had I threw a question out to people and asked about um why people do not like. Um, what what feedback do we have for people to kind of like participate in the meeting and also things that people can work on? So what I have done over the last two weeks is I have listed out, I've brought out a list, brought back a list of ways that people can contribute in chaos, like how they can contribute and the different projects they can get involved with. And I have that very long list here. So for so we'll talk about them one after the other and people that are interested in participating there, you can just add your name in this area of volunteers interested. So I'm going to share the agenda again on the chat or if somebody wants to help me do that too, they can share the agenda in the chat. So the for development and coding, like um, software related projects in chaos, um, here is a list of them, um, one being the badging websites, which we have been trying to um, put together. This is a new project. So this project is it's still been it's still in development and we are using React to build the project. And so people that the technologies involved are React and JavaScript. So if you're a React developer or you're in Java, interested in JavaScript, this is um, a project that you should um, want to contribute to. And we are basically building a website um, for the DEI badging projects, the DEI badging initiative rather. So this is where you can get started if you're a React developer and you're interested in contributing related code to this project. This is where you can um, get involved or if you know people that are interested in contributing to uh, open source projects that are React based or JavaScript. So like the technologies involved, HTML, CSS, React, JavaScript. So if you're interested in participating, I know there are some people on the call here who, that were on that were on that particular, I think the developers called some days back. So, but if I think you can still put in your names here if you're interested, because I'm also trying to see people that are interested in these different projects so I can help them better. So please put your names in here if you're interested in participating in this website. Do we have like, is there, are there any questions on this particular project or any feedback or thoughts? See, Mary said we, okay, yeah, Audrey, please go ahead. Yes, I have a question. Uh, do we have to add our names even though we are already part of the project? Yeah, please, because I'm trying to get, um, I'm trying to, bring people together so I am able to track people that need help. So just still add your name regardless if you are you already know about this. So okay. I know people that are involved too. So just add your names in here. Yes, um, we're blessing. We need more React developers. Um, I think it's 
something that might whisper in the space next two hours in case people are interested in contributing to React um, a website. You could DM on the Twitter. So yeah, I'll take note of that. Any more questions or feedback on the badging websites before we move to the next one? Um, just wanted to ask, like, if someone doesn't have much experience with um, with React, can we still? Yeah. Um. I yeah. I I guess. Oh my God. What did I do? I guess so because um like I know there's like some very easy to do issues that will come up about maybe setting up something like. Even HTML, CSS related issues. Okay. So yes, even though they don't have like a lot of experience with React, they can still participate and contribute to the website. So it's it's something that's open for all. Although we are well, also should we just go there or uh, and start working on the issues or we're putting Yeah, there are uh, issues. The issues are school. open. I think I think one okay. thing we are I think Enoch is on this call too. One thing we are trying to do is we are trying to find people that would some people that will support Enoch to maintain the project. Enoch, am I right? Like, is Enoch still here? Yes. So maintain the project. So we are also looking for people that are interested to uh, maintain as well as contribute to. So if people are interested in maintaining, um, Enoch could be the right person to kind of um, help you understand uh, what are the different components or what are the different things people are thinking about. Um, so we need good maintainers because we don't want, Enoch is the only, um, okay, Enoch Precious is also supporting Enoch. Um, so the both of them are the only two people right now that are uh, maintaining and I, I hope they can also meet to talk about, I think pressures dropped off, but they can also meet to talk about how to um, share the work so that um, people can get involved. Because if we get more contributors than maintainers, you know how the work is going to be. It's going to be, there are going to be a lot of PRs and without people reviewing them. So as well as we need new contributors, we also need like people that are experienced too, that would help maintain the project. So just um, put that in mind too. Does that answer the question? Um, no matter. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I'll reach out to you. Know, okay. Okay, thank you. Um, so for another software and that coding area that people can get involved in, these are people that write Python, SQL, SQL, however they pronounce it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so there's Augur and um, Augur is a Python library. It's one of the software projects here in Chaos and that, used, that we used to, um, you know, analyze um, particular metrics and do data collection. So if you're a data scientist or you're interested in data, or data collection or Python or SQL. Uh, Augur is a good project to get started with. And um, Sean started running a Get It Started with Augur monthly. So um, we also would even do more workshops around Augur. So if you're interested in Python, SQL, data analytics, um, data collection, Olga is a project that would really be of interest to you. So uh, if you're interested in this, please you can put in like your name here at this volunteers interested part so that we can also facilitate. I know Ahmad is trying to get um, a sprint for Pi Data Ghana. So we can also facilitate something more specific for people to understand how to contribute to Augur because myself, I'm also still learning how to contribute to Augur, the Augur software. So if you're interested, you can put your name um, down at this point here. Are there any questions as regards uh, Augur? Okay. 
Let me see. I'm trying to look back to the different books that are here. Suitors are scarce in Lagos. <laughs> That's a very funny book. I need to find it. Um, let me. Uh, sorry, I went back to the agenda. I really need to find it. It should be interesting. Um, okay, lost symbol. What's this book about blessing? This lost symbol book. A blessing here. Or maybe she's not really cool. So I think she dropped again. Okay. Um, so we are going to the next thing, um, which is the DI badging bots. So we have a bot that, and these are people that are, for people that are interested in automating things. Um, and so we have a bot that uh, it facilitates kind of like the workflow for our DI badging program. So what the bots, the main functions is it takes in, it takes in like it re assigns people to review a particular application, facilitates um, the workflow between the, when once the reviewer is done with the application and collating like a result for the application review and also um, closes the issue. So that's what the bot does. So if you're interested in understanding more, um, you can put in your name as, as interested in being a contributor to the bot. But there are also open issues that are here, um, that are open, the ones that have not been assigned. You can pick out the ones that have not been assigned to anybody and look through um, how to help. Um, I know Enoch is also the reach out person for the DI bot. So if you're interested in contributing to the bot, that's um, your reach out person to go to. Um, and then I said also that it's related to like JavaScript automations. I think, yeah, so those are the technologies involved. Is there like any questions? Mainly we are trying to run through, what I'm trying to do with, achieve with this is to kind of run through the different ways people can participate. Um, later on with subsequent meetings, we'll get people I won't be talking about all these different ways again, but people that have been contributing will come talk about what they are doing and we will have discussions about what they are building or the particular issue they are trying to fix or solve. So bear with me, this is getting boring, running through the different um, the different projects um, related to coding. Um, also, if you are if you know how to um, do WordPress, our main our main website, that's this website, the Chaos website, is built on WordPress. It's a WordPress website, it's not good. It's WordPress, and we are in the process of um they had redesign they redesigned this website, but we are still working on implementing the design for this website. You know, if you look at this home page, a whole lot of things. The, the homepage is really, really busy. There has been a good design that we're trying to implement back, but we still need people that will, um, that are interested in that, you know, understand how to use WordPress to help help that team to finish up the website. So if you're interested in, um, if you have WordPress skills or want to have, but I think for now, it's if you have WordPress skills, I see. Thank you, Lamia. I'll reach out to you later. Um, so you can um volunteer to help out with the Chaos main website and also do help us finish finish the work. Um, are there any questions on that website part? Yeah, yeah. I want to ask, um, like which particular side of the website? If they need help in the WordPress, the main website, this particular side, they need help. So it's like almost everything, because um, I don't know, I've, I would have been able to find the design, but the website, like we did like an overhaul of the design, right? We did like 
a new website design. So it has not been implemented yet. So it's almost like the only thing that has been implemented from that design is just the header mainly. And yeah, so there's still some work, especially on the home page. There's still some work that needs to be done in implementing the home page. And I think the about us page and some other minor pages, but I think mainly maybe the home page and there's some other pages. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's where the work majorly needs to center on. Does that answer okay. your question, right? Yeah, is it, is it Kevin that's taking the lead in that? Yeah, Kevin is the person in charge of the website and there's like a particular meeting. That's what I'm getting. Like if you're interested, you write your name. So I'll, I'll do a reach out to you and, you yeah, know, I direct. Want, I want to Okay. okay, great. Okay, so you can put your name here too. So when I reach out, I'll let you know how you can help or how the work can go forward. Um, so the next is the new comma, the new comma slack bots. If you joined, when you joined the chaos community, you saw there was a Slack bot that did like a, a dash, um, DM'd you. If you even type newbie in the Slack, in the newcomer Slack channel, you get a DM from the bot. So this bot, um, we have like some features. If you go to the repository here, you see the functions of all the um, the functions of the bots. Um, see all the functions. It also sends interactive messages. It also responds when the user says hi. So there are some functions like if you want to even send a site wide DM to everybody on the chaos Slack. We we usually um initiate the bots and put in the message that we want to do. So there are a whole lot of other things we can help that the bots can help us do. And this is also a bot that people can adopt. We know there was the time they built the bot, um, the Shikoda Africa community, um they they tried to implement it um on their on their own Slack. So this is a bot that people can also adopt. It's an open source project, right? So there are a whole lot of features, a whole lot of things that we can do. So if you're interested in understanding more and bringing up like features that would even help people personally in the chaos slack i know there are a whole lot of things that we can think about um the technology they use i think javascript bolt or bolt or javascript or something to build it but i know the main technology is javascript so if you're interested in it you can you can put in your name here and i'll connect you it was midday and pressures that built the bots during their mentorship program from Shikoda Africa. So they've kind of built that bot. So if you are interested in that, um, definitely let me know or put your name here. And this is the part where I go up again and find books that people are reading. You know, what is Twitter and Tear Gas? Is that a book name? Tell me that's not a book name. Huh? Sorry, I have to Google it. I'm sorry, since enough is not seeing anything. Ah, uh, nothing is coming up. Enoch site can be reached. That my network. It's actually a book. Wow. <laughs> Enoch, I'm sorry for doubting you. <laughs> wow. Interesting, Twitter and tear gas. Hmm, I should find it. Thank you for sharing that, Enoch. That's a very interesting book. And it's even, it's even um, non-fiction. Okay, thank you for sharing, Enoch. Um, Gifts of the Holy Spirit. I think I've read a book like this, or no, I, I think I read the one by Benny Hinn. I know it's around something about... Holy Spirit as well. Uh, thank you all for sharing new books that I would buy or plan to read. Okay. Um, so the next thing is the chaos discourse. 
um, we we are trying to move away from Slack because one is we do not have a free a premium version a premium version of Slack, and two is we are trying to also save information and help people. Like it's, I think Discourse is a better platform for open source communities. So we are trying to build a Discourse platform for chaos and. Someone trying to say something. Okay, I think um, did I, did I try and say something? Okay, um, so we, we are trying to build like a discourse platform um for the chaos um group. But this work has not started yet. It's just in the planning phase. And if you're, you know, interested in building a Discord, I was even trying to look at um tutorials that help you build. I think Discord has some on their platform to help you build a Discord. You can reach out to me to get started on this. Um, this is the planning document of like the different categories that will be in the Discord. I'm planning that this might be a program um, we might do this as a program where people would dedicated people would build it, or maybe if we are participating in outreach or GSOC next year, this can be a project that people can get involved with. But in the case that you're interested, um, please let me know here. And that is all for development. Um, sorry, is that yeah. for the the discourse channel? Is this is that um a how would I put it? Um, a new channel for um, discussion or yeah it's like we don't want to we want to use slack but we want this course to be the primary one you know this course saves information like there's a way i don't know if you've seen you've seen the discourse community before right how to be honest i've used this course for so many things to yeah be honest so... with you, i don't i don't understand how it works oh, so wow. it's at times yeah it's quite let me see if I find one sustain um so it's it helps you like like this is a an example this is an example now you see that um information is easier to find here in the slack it's harder to find so if we have like if we have all the working groups like this is a community called sustain and they have this their own discourse so i can just come here and look for um this working group called accountability and i can find a lot of information like about what it's the conversations that are going on and see these conversations are from like since 2018 right so it's it's easier to find information on discord and you get to store a lot of information on discord as well like you can even do a summary summaries of meetings um, so there's, there's, a, there's a correction i want to make this is discourse is it discourse or discord you're you are saying discord no i said no. i said discourse i didn't say i didn't say discord okay. Yeah. Okay. Is this code yeah. that I was actually referring oh, to? Oh, okay. sorry. This course. Okay, so this course is different. Oh, this yeah. course. Okay. I thought it yeah. was also this code. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. this code is the confusing one. I don't even me. understand. I don't even understand how this code works <laughs> myself. But yeah, it's this okay. course all around. So I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry for the confusion. But yes, yeah, so we are trying to build a discourse platform. Um it's still in the planning phases. So um, if you're interested in, I, I also do not know how to build it, but if you're interested in building it, we can talk about something and start the work. So I think that's- um, okay, yeah, so it, I think you can add my name to that. Let's see how- That's Ahmad, right? Um, yeah. Um, I think somebody with their hands delights. Let me go ahead. Yeah, um, can you hear me? I want to ask, yes. like, in this discourse, um, does it mean that there will be like a question or a pool that people will now come and comment on or give their ideas on a particular um, topic, something like that? What do you say? 
Can you hear me? Or like if you have caution, you can just put it up. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you question. Um, the like, yeah. So like this course, like it's even more easy to start up discussions. Like, um, let me use this example again. Like you can just have it, you can just put up topics and people can respond. Like if you if you are starting up a project or you're starting up a discussion, or I think there was a time, um, there was a time I think maybe blessing asked, I think some days back about other community connecting with other communities. That's a discussion that people can also contribute to. Like if you just have anything, so it's it's not necessarily for it's for people communicating with each other and saving information better or this um, important discussions in the community. Like we are talking about working groups, we are talking about chaos. Chaos Africa can have their own tag or their own area and we can collaborate. See, like you see, there's an opportunity board here. People can share opportunities. There's a reading group. There's like a whole lot of things. So we can have different categories. I think on the planning document here, you can see like the different categories here. We have announcements, community governing board, software, metrics, off topic, you know, the two, the two um local communities for them to like communicate and drop important announcements. So we can have a lot of categories in that um discourse platform. Okay, that's fine. That's not a question, delight. Okay. Yeah, 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 you answered my question. I'm okay. sorry, I'll be dropping now. My battery is plus, I need to charge. Okay, no worries. Thank you for jumping in. Okay, so um for then for design, um you can do you, if you're a designer, I know there are some people here that's I know there's a design person here. Um so if you're a designer, the badging website is um, one place you can get involved. I know they are also they also do all that things aside the badging website, like the flyers that we the Twitter spaces flyers. The designers are the ones that work on that. Um, the, uh, the recently we started doing like happy new month kind of design. Um, the designers are the ones that work on that. And there are also other projects that might come up in the future. But for now, I think this is the major one they are working on where they have like a board. So if you're interested in design, this is where you can um, participate in. Then the non-technical areas, the non-technical areas um, are like the metrics. We have like different working groups in chaos. Um, so, and these working groups are where it's metrics and what are metrics? Metrics are as um, things that like, ways open source communities can, you know, um, measure health, open source community health, because in chaos, we focus more on, like, we focus on helping open source communities measure health. Um, so we do that through creating metrics and also those, um, the software that I talked about earlier that helps you analyze communities too. So now we have these metrics and for these metrics, we have working groups. So you can participate in any of the working groups. If you go to chaos.community, you see chaos working groups here. You can participate in any of the working groups and join their meetings and contribute to the conversation, the metric conversation. Examples of metrics are just this, they're not like um, rocket science. Like for example, this common metrics working group, um, they have like a focus area called contributions. So these are the metrics that are related to if, if open source communities want to uh, measure their occasional contributors. They want to measure the type of contributions they get or the number of technical folks um, on their code development platform. So these are metrics that open source communities can measure to show how their how health is as regards contributions. Um, they can also measure metrics as regards time, um, time that people respond to issues or close issues. So these are metrics metrics that that working group they create and work on and like i said it's not rocket science you can see uh, this is an example of um, a metric we usually have like a template 
um, the type of contribution, what describes that metric, the objectives, how to implement it. And all these things are done on the call, on like the working group calls where people come together to think about all these things from like their experience contributing to open source and their experience in communities. And we also have like references, things that we have read, people have read as regards how, how um, that applies to that particular metric. So if you're interested in creating or, um, you know, contributing to metrics, which is like a non-technical area, um, you first, the first thing you have to do is pick, look at these working groups and think about which of them best align to me. For me, I contribute to the diversity, equity and inclusion working group because, you know, it's, it speaks more to me as somebody from an underrepresented community, right? So you can pick out which of them that you want to contribute to. And then the next thing you do, you check the participate page and check the working group meeting this. Um, you can check there, check like, for example, the DEI working group happens on Wednesdays, you copy it to your calendar. If it's the evolution working group, it happens on Tuesdays, meetings happens on Tuesdays, copy it to your calendar and attend those meetings. So that's how joining the meetings first is the first step to contributing to the metrics and understanding what is going on there. And that's how you contribute to these metrics. And we have these different working groups, there are these different working groups that you can be part of one of them and understand what's going on. Is there like any question about metrics or how to participate? Okay, yes, um, there's no question. But if you're interested, you can always reach out to me. Um, because I think one thing, um, so Enoch and I had a conversation earlier today, and um, if you do not know like the the goal or the focus of Chaos Africa, what we why this community started is to first discover unique challenges that African open source communities face and also help people contribute to the larger chaos projects, right? Equip people. And if people do not understand like chaos projects, what the chaos project is focused on is open source community health. How are open source communities supporting each other? And so we want to use the model in which chaos works and apply to Africa. There are different open source communities in Africa, right? And we want to help those communities sustain health, sustainability. So that's what Chaos Africa is kind of like focused on. And before we, we can do that, we need people that are in the community to understand what the metrics are, how chaos works, contribute to the larger chaos project because um, people, the community members, which is you all here, would help us to help these open source communities in Africa to um, think about health in their communities to help them measure health. So that's why um, we are trying to also help people contribute to the larger group and also participate in this working group. So this is something that is really, really important because on the long run, um, people are going to, um, community members in Chaos Africa are going to help us reach out, like help us in reaching out to these open source communities in Africa to to help them think about health, to help them use the chaos model to sustain health in their communities. I don't know if that makes sense. So if you're interested in contributing to the metrics or creating metrics, uh, please do reach out to me. Um, and, or if you're interested in joining any particular working group, even though I'm not there, I'll help you um, find your way around things. So is there any confusion or question? from what I've just said. Okay. Um, okay, so the next thing is um, the DI badging reviewers. We recently had um, reviewers that joined um, and this DI badging review is basically we have we have people that review applications, event applications, open source event applications. 
So if you're interested in viewing open source event applications and reviewing their DI process, DI means diversity, equity, and inclusion, by the way. So if you're interested in reviewing their DI practices um, for their open source events, you can sign up here. This is a form. Um, you can sign up to become a reviewer and would would um, have to do like an orientation. I know we recently um, onboarded new reviewers. So if you're interested in doing this, you can also um, reach out to me or like fill this form and we'll get, get you started on that. Then for um, our social media, um, this um, content document was created by, was created by um, Sophia Enoch. So what we are trying to do um, in the coming months is to, you know, liven up our Twitter page and talk about more things about what the community members are building and reach out to people more. So this is like a more public way to share the work we are doing. So Sophia put up this document of like ideas that we could um, do um, as regards even design and how technical writers can help. So these are like all the ideas that she put out together. So if you're interested in social media stuff and even technical writing, because then there are some, we need some content. Like for example, some of the ideas here are things that technical writers would have to work on. So if you're interested in this or if you have any additional thing that we think you think we should be sharing on our social media, you can put them here. These documents are all edit assets. So it's available for people to edit and also add in their ideas or suggestions. But this is something that um, is, um, Sophia put it together. So if you're interested in social media, you can indicate your interest here. Is there any question? I think I've been talking too much. I need to drink water. Okay. Um I, I was trying to get a link to the survey. Um let me if you're still here. Can get me can you only link I think so okay, the yes, survey. So if you okay, thank you. Um we we put out a Sorry, survey that we the form link, right? No, the the spreadsheet link. Let me share it. So we put out like a survey when we initially started um Chaos Africa to get feedback from people about challenges they were facing in Africa and we did get like up to 98 responses and we are in the process of analyzing that survey um, and getting feedback and data. We're doing a lot of, um, we're in the process of analyzing the survey and understanding some of the challenges that people face because like I said earlier, it ties back to our goal of helping open source communities in Africa Right, so by getting this feedback from people, we are able to know what are the different areas we are going to focus when we, when we start reaching out to those open source communities. So, um, yeah, so if you're interested in, we're, we've started the anal analytic work, or analysis work rather, but there's still more work that needs to be done. So if you are interested, um, this is a, a way to get involved in it and this is the part where i retire from doing a whole long list and ask people if they have any questions so i have a question 
So, okay. uh, if, if I had correct you, right, the only from this list, I think it's just the social media content I guess that uh, has like the guiding contribution, right? Mm -hmm. If I just mention any other one. Yeah, um for for now, right? It's it's just that one that has um um technical writing contribution. But for the survey as well, it's something that we need to write a report at the end of the day, right? If like once we analyze, we need a report for the survey, we need like because we need to put together something. We also in the future we also need um to get people started, like all these different things here, all these softwares here. People need to understand what is going on. So that's something that people can write about, right? So there are a whole lot of possibilities and things that, but well, for the start, this is what is there for now. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay. Are you interested in it? I can put your name here. Yes, yes, yes. Great. Um, so yeah, does anybody have any questions? This is the last meeting for the year, and I've been the only one talking. That's unfair. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to see if there's any book I missed. Well, does anybody have any feedback, any questions? I think thank you, Lami, for the for adding that in. So is there any questions or before we go to this very last thing? This is virtual, by the way. Let me put it virtual. Okay. okay. Is there any feedback? Okay. That means I'm doing a great job. Interesting. Okay. Um, I do keep up. Well, yeah, so we are trying to get, um, you know, it's the end of the year and I'm so excited that I get to take a break in December. Yeah, has been rough. But yeah, um, and we're trying to see if we can do something to get together, get to know each other, just um, something virtual and fun. Um, I... I picked out these dates because um, we are trying not to have anything meeting related in December, except that Twitter space that is going to happen, right? So does this date work for everybody? I'm still going to share it in the channel for people that are not here. Does this date like work? And which of this time, this is still tentative, like still the time, which of this time do you think work best for you that you can just come to and be free? So I'm going to, yeah, virtual, definitely virtual. Don't worry, I or did you are included? It's virtual. So just vote for which timing works. Um, 2 p.m., 3 p.m. WAT or 6 p.m. WAT, which of this timing would work for you? 6 p.m., 1, 6 p.m. Um, another 6 p.m., great. People like night students, Tristan. Um, and that's 6 p.m. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have three 6 p.m. There are like eight people here. The other people are like, um, I move with the crowd. Mm. Okay. Yeah, majority 6 p.m. Okay, I'll share, I'll also share this in the channel and see other people's thoughts as well. Um and see how it will go, other people's thoughts. But thank you everybody for participating in this long meeting where I had to talk a lot. Thank you for all hearing my what day will it be? 30th of um November. What's what day is 30th of November? Let me check my calendar. It's on a Wednesday. Oh, is it only no 30th of November is only Wednesday, my dear. So I think that's Wednesday if I'm if my calendar is correct. <laughs> it's Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. So 
Um, does anybody have this is the last meeting? This is the last meeting for the year. Does anybody have any feedback? Anything they want to say? Um, because I'm definitely going to miss talking. Um, okay. Or even though it's, it's just something you say, like it, because this meeting is recorded, people are going to like at least let let it be that people will. <laughs> I'm sorry, let it be that people were on the meeting. Right, just for something. <laughs> Hello. Okay, is that you trying to say something? Talk about me. I mean, happy okay. holidays, everybody. See, holidays, the holiday period is coming. Yes, yeah, yeah. no, let me. Let me fast. Sorry, what did you say? You said it's here already. Let it be fast. Yeah, that's it before us. Like I'm, I need, I really need to retire for the year. It has been a, a very, very exhaustive year. But yeah, I can't wait. Okay. okay. Um, so, you have a feedback on the chat. Um. Oh, thank you, Ella. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Thank you very much. It's it's my pleasure. And I'm I'm really excited that you all like come to these meetings every day and also believe in what I'm doing. And I'm excited about that honesty. It's gonna make me cry, but it's going to cry. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. Um I I really know that next year we're going to do a lot of things. Um I'm, I okay, I think I didn't give feedback about the collective. We're trying to get money. So I hope next year we have money to do a lot of things, um, you know, events, um, swags, because I love swags a lot. So I have a, a full on design of swags that we need to print. So yeah, um, thank you everybody for joining today. I'll keep communicating on the Slack. And okay, um, Audrey, please go ahead. Yes, um, thank you so much. I'm excited to be part of this community, but I have a question. So in December, does it mean we will not contribute to the- No, you will of... contribute, but there will be no meeting. Okay. Like, it's okay. something, That's... everybody's in a relaxation mood, so you can choose to lay low to like, but I'll still be doing some work, but I'll majorly be resting, but there'll be no meeting. No meetings are exhausting, like meetings are. Yeah. <laughs> Any day I don't have anything, I'm very productive for real. Like meetings I like tiring. Especially when you have to talk a lot. They are easily when you are listening, but they are harder when you are talking. So there will be no meetings in December, mainly. But we the only thing. And yeah, you can, uh, can ask questions, you can do stuff on the Slack, or just there will be no meetings. Okay, so thank you. Yeah, for sure. Okay, thank you, Audrey. But I, I think I did a bad job at explaining that. It, it just sounded like everybody's free to go in December. So thank you for asking that question. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, okay. We are, I think we are at the, uh, almost at the hour. So please don't forget the Twitter space is in an hour people should show up there it's like it's a very interesting topic history of open source like not many people know how i started so definitely love people to be there to be recorded as well in case you miss it and that's something that technical i think for that particular topic i would really love somebody to write about it based on what the the guest speaker will share that's a topic that i would love somebody to write about because you don't find it it's not something that is easily written up like easily accessible if you read, like, there's a particular book I'm reading and it's so boring. Jeez. I mean, tell me to come and explain what I'm reading in that book. I don't think I'll be able to explain to, explain to you in a very interesting manner. So, yeah, maybe I'll just reach out to people if they want to write about based on the recording of the space. And, yeah, we have all the three that came in at the end of the meeting. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I was in another meeting, you know, so I just finished now and... Good evening, everyone. Hi, sorry, no worries. Hello. We're rounding up. We had like a long list. 
um, of you can follow up on the agenda. But thank you for still coming, regardless of having finishing a meeting and jumping into another one. We appreciate that. Thank you. Um, so bye everybody. Thank you.